Good day, friends, and welcome to another episode of Tanker Cad TV. Once again, friends, these episodes are designed to entertain and inspire, so let's get cracking. Friends, today's design is a wicked Japanese pre dreadnought battleship, the Mikasa. It is brought to us by the uber talented Unlimited Model Works, and oh my gosh, it's a beast. As you can see, there are notes. I'm going to shut those off for a moment so we can just take a quick look around before we dive into the details. So much cool stuff on this awesome warship. Let's turn on those notes and run through the details. So right here we have the Imperial Sigil. And here is the Emperor's Sigil. Here we have the anchors. Check it out. I can click on those anchors and do F for fit view. Those chains are absolutely epic. This means that they are locked in place so they cannot move. They look so complex. Here we have the 305 millimeter guns. And this right here is the gun house. Spin around, you get another look at those awesome anchors. Right here we have one of the 1452 millimeter guns. And this is the casemate. A quick fun fact, the Mikasa is the last remaining ship of her type that still exists in the world. That's insane. The fate of the Empire rests on the outcome of this battle. May every man do their utmost duty. That was said by Admiral Togo. This is the location of one of the 20 76mm 12 pounder guns. Several life rafts. That's an awesome thing to have aboard the ship. Here we can find one of the six 47mm 2.5 pounder guns. There are a boatload of weapons on this. And up here, we have the Mikasa character flag. She is complaining about how to use the smartphone as she was from the early 1900s. That's pretty awesome. If we spin around, this is the signal flag Z. It was famously flown on the Mikasa during the Battle of Tsushima. These are the funnels for the ship. We have one of the six three pounder guns. This right here is a torpedo net holder. I have never heard of that. That's pretty cool. Of course, we have signal lights. As we move back along the ship, we've got the unlimited model works flag. That's pretty awesome. Another fact the Mikasa is the last example of a British built warship. And this is a scale model. Oh my gosh, that is so cool first time i have ever seen that done once again umw you are absolutely crushing it as we spin around friends we have got the propellers we have got the rudder if you read this right to left it says mikasa that's a super cool detail and then finally we have the japanese flag i'm gonna shut off those notes one more time and let's just take another look at this. Oh my gosh, what an amazing project. This is the largest and most complicated design that Unlimited Model Works has created. The previous champion was the ship in a bottle design, which I had the opportunity to review as well. Friends, if you want to see that one, there will be a link in the corner. There have been 52 hours of work invested in this amazing creation, estimated at more than 5,000 parts, and it has been built for a contest by RK Naval Forces. Unlimited Model Works, your design skills are off the charts, and thank you so much for sharing with us. Friends, remember, if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, it is so simple. Click this button, generate a link, and then copy that link. And then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, if those options don't work for you, don't forget you also have HLModTech.com. I have got the sweet webpage dedicated to Tinkercad. And then down at the bottom, a sweet messaging tool. You can add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. 
As you can see, there are more than 400 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Please also remember we have the designer showcase with tons of amazing profiles. Friends, when you click on these, you'll instantly see the designs of all the users sorted by likes. I always like to remind you it's pretty cool to sort by recent. Of course, if you do see something you think is awesome, make sure you give it a reaction. Finally, friends, if you have something you think I should be showing on Tinkercad TV, don't forget there is a request a shout out button on this website. Of course, if you need a tutorial, it's included as well. Finally, friends, I just want to say thanks again to Unlimited Model Works. Your designs are so epic and it's so cool. You take time to share them with us. And of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video for me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.